guys, welcome back. This is our behind the scenes of our 10 female front of bands video. If you haven't checked it out, you should. There's a link in the description, there's a card, uh, annotation. However you feel like finding it, you should go check it out because we worked really, really hard on it. And also thank you for all the positive feedback on it. It really, really made our year. It really, really means a lot you guys liked it. I just wanted to make a brief clip on how this video is put together. We didn't really have time to sit there and do lots of actual vlog style. So it's kind of just a bunch of clips put together because it was like five and a half hours of footage that I had to cut down. So that's why this video is quite long. But I hope you enjoy seeing how much work went into the 10 female front of bands video. To start, we came up with the idea because we were trying to think of something different we could do for our channel other than just a cover. But we actually tried to keep the same thing, how we do covers together with something different. Different, and that's why we came up with that because we wanted to try making a list video in terabyte style So that is how we came up with the idea We also had to go choose the sections of the songs that we covered and we tried to do it shot by shot Copying the actual video and replicating it the best we could with our resources since this project was gonna be so big We also wanted to get as much out of it as we could So we decided to also shoot a makeup video for every single look that I tried to replicate and we had to order wigs And our home edition was going on at the same time Which was actually cool because we got to use the home edition in its different steps for for instance, the first video we did was We Are The In Crowd, and we got to shoot it inside of an empty pod. So, it, and it looked pretty much like We Are The In Crowd's acoustic music video, so that was pretty cool. We also used the addition whenever the walls weren't up, and then we used it when the walls were up for the Paramore video. So it was pretty cool to use it, like, before it was even done. I mean, we were, we were just too eager to use it. So don't forget to go check out those makeup videos on my channel, youtube.com slash Sabrina. The links will be in the description. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. Give it a like if you liked it, and thanks for watching. You're kind of cute like that. <laughs> I don't know why. That's my... Well, this is the wrong color, but it's gonna have to do your face. <laughs> Did you get it? Now I just... <laughs> you had a piece of my heart! Three, two, one. Alright, do it again. You gotta face that more, way more, don't you? I don't remember the shot anymore. Actually, his hair is kind of gross. I know. Here. There you go. <laughs> Still. Right, I'm not gonna mess with him. And it's all like frizzy now. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, he's gotta get the oil out. Can I see a clip of it so I know how much I need to move around? You just gotta bob slightly. Yeah. Very little. Yeah, just like, just like that. May even get closer to his part. It's just that it's really more focused. Ah. Tell my dad he might need to help us. No. Alright, I need you to clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Poopy? Poopy. Poopy. Oh, I can see myself. Oh, yeah. Is this funny? Okay. Does it look good? Yeah. Does it look like the shot? Yeah. Alright. Except I'm a little in the, the mirror. <laughs> okay, it's okay. okay. It's okay, it's okay. Am I in a good spot? Yeah. Alright, start recording. It's recording. I oh, it is? <laughs> I'm going. It's recording, but it's gonna start missing. <laughs> I'm doing it from yes. the single. Yeah, it's worth it. What the hell? Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, help! Help! What? Well, every time I do the makeup video, it's like packed. This room's packed. And I have like no room to go anywhere. But I have to stay here and make sure that everything's in focus and everything's looking good. So I just kind of like, just like stand here, or, like sit here and like try to waste time. It takes a long time for her to do her makeup video. Like, that's a while of waiting. And I kind of just like lean on stuff and like try to waste time. And when she was doing that, I was kind of leaning like this. I don't really want to do it because I'm kind of afraid now. But I was leaning like this and I guess I put a lot of weight on it. And my shoulder gave in because I've actually had problems with my shoulder in the past. 
chest with my rotator cuff. So I'm assuming it makes you more susceptible to these things. But what happened is my shoulder got dislocated. Like I was just leaning on it and I guess I put so much weight on it that my shoulder just gave in. I got dislocated and my arm was like, I don't know. It was facing a different direction and it was very painful. But for some reason I instinctively knew how to get my, ar my arm to go back in place and like undislocate it. But I had to like maneuver my arm in a weird way. Man, it was painful. After I collapse, you hear me go, like I, I fall into the cabinet because I had no more support for my elbow. So you'll hear that and you'll hear the pain. It's not fun. Ow! Ow! Help! Help! What? Oh! What? Oh! What's oh. Happening? oh no! What? Shit. I don't know what just happened. What did you do? Shit. Ow! Ow! Okay. okay. Ow! Open the door. I'm trying. Oh, I don't know what just happened. What? I uh, just like popped my elbow out of place or something. He was leaning. leaning against the cabinet and then oh, man. he like slipped somehow. Oh, that was pain. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Because of the fact that I dislocated my shoulder, Sabrina had to redo her makeup the next day. Because that day I was in way too much pain to do the drum shots, so we didn't want to set it up for no reason. And we did it the next day, I was still in pain, but I was able to move my shoulder enough to kind of go like this. So you'll notice I kind of look stupid. Like I'm not making fun of the drummer in the band, although it kind of looks like it because I'm just like going like this. But I'm doing that because my shoulder was hurting really bad, but I'm kind of happy I did because it looks funny. <laughs> just watch. Zero airflow. You ready to do the punch? What does she do? What does she do with the like? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how to do it. I think it's like this. What? No, like this. Yeah. Lost in? Like, does she look up? Obviously don't have as much space as they had, but we had to make do with what we had. We're in our garage right now. Show them DJ. So on this side we have all this clutter, so you can imagine it was kind of hard to get the right angles and stuff. But we're doing the home edition, so everything's that kind of in disarray. Disarray, nice word, dude. Thank you. Now we've shot our against the current thing and we've actually edited it. Came out pretty good. I wasn't happy with the wig though, it kind of looked really fake. But you know, it's not I couldn't really do anything about it. Um, it's thundering. So, yeah, it's been it's been raining a lot this summer. The Flyleaf music video has like a background where there's buttons, kind of like a what is it called tufted look, but not totally tufted. So we're gonna try to DIY that ourselves. We went to Walmart and we bought some stuff. So let's go see if we can make it. We got some cloth, foam, buttons, some safety pins, and some black tacks because we kind of wanted to use these, but then we weren't sure if they would work. So we got safety pins as well. These would be a lot easier. First off, I'm glad we got two rolls of foam because this is nowhere near as tall as not tall enough as I need. Let's get a shot of how bad it's raining real quick. Okay, go show them. Of course it doesn't look anywhere near as bad in the camera, whatever. Alright, so what I'm thinking is eventually I mean What the hell did you have a break? I can't think of the word I'm thinking I'm trying to say. Not eventually. Previous it's a word like previously. Previously on. No, you can't think of a different word than previously. That's like eventually. Eventually. No, like. Apparently. No, like. 
Well, pause the camera. Initially, that's nothing to do with eventually. It ends in a Lee. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Initially, we were going to use the foam and that's it and drape it over the backdrop. But now I'm thinking we should probably use the canvases that we have. I think we should kind of like stick these to it because then it'll be easier to keep together. I think one is enough. Well, one is gonna have to be enough because I don't think we have enough foam for more than one. For this particular shot in Flyleaf's video, it really only shows the top part of her. We really don't need that big of a background. If we can prop this up on something to be a little higher up, hopefully we get away with it. I'm gonna try to clip this to the back of the canvas. There you go, right there. Cool. Yay, it's just big enough. It's just wide enough at least, I mean. Wow, it's like we did it on purpose. I know, we, we were hoping it would be enough. We're using clips because it's temporary. Yeah. If this wasn't temporary, we'd probably be using a stapler or something. So this whole project we've been like, this is taking so long because we're trying to make everything look like something we can't really achieve by ourselves. We don't have a crew, we don't have the resources. We have to accept when something isn't going to be exactly like the video. This is one of those cases. So I think we're just going to use these tacks and they're going to be the buttons, which are a lot smaller than the flyleaf buttons in the background. But is anyone really going to notice and point that out? That's the question. Is that going to be a big concern? As long as it looks close and cool. Now that you pointed it out, everyone in the comments of that video would be like, right now. No. They're going to be supportive, because we put a lot of work into this. This looks pretty cool. Are you trying to pull pictures so you know how far to space them? I need a ruler. Top. It needs to be straight. you got to measure how far you want to go. It's about, it's close enough. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. That one's off. <gasps> we don't have the perfect amount. You don't? How do we not? I thought you said we had 24. We did! We must be using more than 24 because we only have two left. Did we do an extra row? I think we only meant to do four rows oh, and we did five. It's 30. We're just going to have more. We're going to need all of this. This is the minimum like that we need the size of this whole thing to make. Especially if you're playing guitar. Look at the camera. There you go. Guys, the microphone, she goes like that. Yeah. Wait, wait. It's not rewinding. I will. Clip of what it looks like. All right, ready? Andrew, move in more. Sorry, I'm demanding. Can you see me at all? Yep.
almost the 4th of July <laughs> and we're still working. No, I'm just kidding, no. But it really is the 4th of July, but it was a perfect night to play drums outside. So <laughs> we took advantage of it and did our flyleaf video. Woo, it's hot out here. <sighs> Andrew helped us. All right. He played guitar and Amber shot it. Thanks, Amber. Awesome. Oh, we are trying to fake a window from the bedroom to the bathroom. The bedroom to the bathroom. We hung these curtains on our lights that are on stands, and then we're using a cable across to hang the other sheer curtains that are supposed to be blowing in the wind. We're gonna be blowing a fan from inside the bathroom so that the wind the wind is blowing the curtains. Oh boy. Recording. Do, up, do more up, like almost like you're about to go up, but you're not. But don't move your head. Yeah, that's what she did. Here we go. I'm going. Alright, I'm doing it again. <laughs> you jumped out the window. You're actually like tall. You're bumpy. And you like start here, and you pan down. Bend my blood too! Whoa, careful. It's supposed to like be low and go up high. I can't move around too much. Huh? I can't move around too much because... I know. I'm trying to like move. Am I, am I doing it slow like her? It's yeah. really hard. Just know that I can't move around so I'm just going to stay still. So as you saw in Sabrina's Snapchat, we shot some green screen footage. That's what it looks like in the end. She's just bouncing on a chair. We decided to green screen it out and make it look like she's fallen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the, I'm just, I just have everything muted right now just so you can see each layer as it applies. So that's with the green screening, it's just going right to black because there's nothing under it yet. And then I'll add the thing that's under it, which is the buildings we did, which basically we just have this shot of a building it's right here, and, uh, yeah, the shot of the building, we zoomed it in a lot and basically had the frame just move up slowly, so it, or down, yeah, so it looks like it's falling. So it's just took it, zoomed it in, and moved it down like really, really fast, like enough to where it looks like it's going fast. And then we added upwards motion blur, directional motion blur, so it looks like it's there's motion there. And the picture we, is seamless, so you can just keep repeating and look natural. Yeah, so it goes all the way down, and then it starts over, and it keeps going. That's why there's a bunch of layers. And then we added motion blur to Sabrina, too, and masked out her face, so that way her face isn't blurry. I also added some lens blur to the background to make it look like it's kind of like there's depth of field. So there's two blurs in the background. And then we went in and added another layer of like, sort of like a cloud layer. Um, it looks like this. <laughs> and we basically just like, Mess with the transparency and did the same thing that we did with the building, except put it over Sabrina instead of behind her. So it kind of made it look like there's clouds flying by her and then it ended up looking like this. So I feel like all of the elements of the wind and the green screen and everything came together and made it almost look like it's realistic. But it's supposed to be not really realistic, it's supposed to be like a dream sequence, so. I feel like we pulled it off pretty well. What do you think, Beep? I'm so proud of us, us too. So further, you make me want to die video shoot. We needed a shot where she was outside but lit. 
we made this little contraption. This is like a ring light that I bought Sabrina for her birthday. And it's just for pretty much makeup videos. I ended up connecting this Vagabond, which is what we got for our photo shoot light, so you could take photos outside without an out electrical outlet. So you could basically portable take It's a portable bat battery. Yeah. Wow, I'm having trouble with the photo. Whoa! Oh. So you can turn it on and it turn and light happens. That's what happens. This particular mount like comes with this area right here where I can mount the camera right here. So that's what I did. I mounted that camera on here and I turned the light on and like it's like shooting through the light which is where it's supposed to be. And I basically held it like this and just walked backwards with the camera mounted on it and that's how I did it. So that's how we had portable ring light for that shot. You're way too close to me. That's the heaviest thing in the world. I think you're a little too far now, but... All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, walk slower this time.
think it's like over here. It's shot at me. Ready? ready? What yeah. time is it? Nine. Time to rock. Sixteen. Down. Rock and roll. Oh, three, three, three. You can push play. All right, just push play. Move to my left a little bit, right there. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Whoa. The thing that was on my tit. It's a dragonfly, isn't it? No, it's not. It's big and black. Action! You up to speed? Yep. It's gonna start in five seconds. No, you don't need to do that. You don't look disgusting? No, it looks more, more awesome. It's more rock and roll. That's right. All right, here we go. Rock and roll. Are you recording? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Controlling music and going. I'll do it. We need music for this. Everyone started out a little insane, but we learned pretty quick how to fake it for the game. Like, I don't know what's going on. Shorter steps, but start walking, start walking. Short steps, short steps. Originally when we were going to shoot the Paramore part, we wanted to just have one backdrop and shoot it in the garage. But when we did that, we realized that we didn't have enough space. Because we wanted to have the drums, guitar, bassist, everything. And if we did that, you would have seen the side of the garage and it looked gross. And it wouldn't have looked like the music video at all. So we realized we had the space back there because that night after we finished the whole Riot backdrop and we were like confused about what we were going to do, we went to sleep and we tried to go to sleep and there was people out there working on this edition right here and they were putting the walls up, which made us very angry until we realized we could use those walls, and we did, because that's where we shot the riot thing, and we thought, you know what, since we have this wall, it's like a big wall, we could put the riot backdrop that we made on there, and then put another one on there, and since everyone's coming over, we could knock it out real fast and make a whole new second one, so that's how that worked out, and I think it worked out pretty great. We got our black paper backdrop today. We started working on the backdrop for the Paramore music video, we got video down there, lots of paint that failed. Some of that stuff didn't work. This worked, as you can see. It is dries like chalk finish, not chalk finish. So we're gonna work on that. <sighs> when I did that one, I felt like it was doing it so big, and then I realized it wasn't even that big. But this one's kind of going like. 
If we start shooting when the sun's going down, the lighting's gonna change for the shot. Spin it. Yeah, well, let's just make sure we set everything up, and by the time we're yeah. done, I think it'll be perfect. Sunset at eight. So. Well, Dude, twist it. Dude, twist it. Dude, twist it. Like seven forty-five. I did what I could with this wig. It was very tough. I've never done this before, so I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> Even though you can see like some of the thing right here. Whatever. Show your So when we recorded this, we recorded every single song in a row. We created this big project of all these songs. As we were shooting the videos, we noticed we weren't able to start right at the beginning of the song because we didn't put a click track at the beginning of it. So when we did the Paramore one, it's the last one, I decided, all right, I'm sick of this. I'm just gonna export one with like a click track. But for some reason that day specifically, my computer stopped like working. I, I lost the license, like it's a long story. So I couldn't get into Cubase to put a click track on it. So what I did is I just like dragged it into a different program and I cut the da, 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 like part of the song and just put it at the beginning and try to time it right just so we can kind of have an idea of the tempo of the song and when to start but the thing is in order to do that I had to like cut it so you hear like it like cut randomly you also kind of hear the beginning of the last song still ringing out which I didn't hear when I was editing it but when we were playing it back on the loudspeaker and turning it up all the way all of a sudden I was able to hear it something weird happened when we were doing it and I all of a sudden I heard the cymbals because it was like cranked up I thought he was at the wrong part of the track I was like I don't, are you on the wrong track because it should have been a short clip that just like played the beginning and I was like this doesn't seem right I was like shh I was like, that's not right. But I didn't know that I heard the symbols from the last song, so that's kind of screwed me up. And then when they played it, I got screwed up and I didn't start because of that. And I explained that to my dad. Then the second time he played it, I got screwed up again because I heard it go da 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 and it like pauses for a second and then it comes in. And I thought my dad paused it because I, I think he thought in my mind that I should have played the da 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 even though that's just for us to know when the song starts. It's kind of confusing, but that kept screwing me up. I kept thinking that he was pausing it thinking I screwed up. And in his mind, he was thinking I was still screwing up because I heard the cymbals ringing out. So because of that, I screwed up three times and I felt like everyone thought I was screwing up because I was nervous, but I was literally just having a brain fart thinking my dad kept pausing it because he thought I screwed up or I was supposed to play the beginning. And then ever since after that, my dad said cymbals at the beginning of every single track because he wanted to get me thinking about the cymbals, but literally that's not why I was screwing up. So it's just like, it's so weird. I hope you, that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but. Let's watch. Ready? Here we go. Warm it up. I was like, why is there symbols? I thought you paused it. I thought you were like, oh, you screwed up. Yeah. You're the one who made the click track. I know. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. What? Why is the pause screw me up? I don't know. Alright, I got it now. Just count to four after the uh, symbols. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> right. We're rolling, here we go.
Yes. This is better. I was saying for one scene, we should switch you guys out. <laughs> Actually, this is fine where you're at. <laughs> All right, here we go. A one, and a two, and a three. Symbols. Nope. I was the sweatiest really? ever. <laughs> Don't try to place them like they're gonna be in the shop. Like they should just move around. Yeah, you're just gonna go around me. I know. She's well, he's asking if he's good. Movement thing around me. Oh, well. I'm good. So the whole time, just go like. Three, four. So in the very last take of the Paramore song, I smashed my finger into the rim of the snare drum. I was actually smashing my hands on the snare drum like the whole like shoot, but specifically in that last scene, I smashed this knuckle really hard because I was like going hard. I was like, I'm gonna make the scene count. And I was bleeding like crazy and it like popped up. We'll show you a picture from my Snapchat. Look, my middle finger, the knuckle's swollen because I bashed it on the snare drum in that last video. Look at that. It was just, it was very painful, but for some reason I kept going. You're about to see the clip where I smashed my knuckle, and you could see the pain in my eyes. out with this and we are so appreciative of it. It was a lot, a lot of work. DJ's dad, Don, our friends, uh, our family, my sister, Amber, my best friend, Casey, and Andrew. Thank you guys. Uh, it was so much fun. Oh, and the neighbors, neighbor Ryan, Callie's husband, Brian, definitely helped out. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. And so that about wraps up our behind the scenes of 10 female front bands. If you liked it, go check it out again and uh, like this video if you like this video, you know, because that would be cool because I had to go through five and a half hours of footage and also also, I just want to remind you to go check out the makeup videos on my channel. So all the links will be in the description for everything. Follow us on social media, all that if you would like to. And considering we're having a studio built, it's going to make things a lot easier. And maybe we'll come up with a part two. So if there is to be a part two, what band would you like us to cover? Thanks for watching and goodbye.